Welcome again, this is Dr. Shankopotamus. Uh, what you're looking at here is a partially disassembled fan and light uh, in my boys' bathroom here. Um, light still works great, fan is really on the way out. So, ran over to Lowe's Home Depot, somewhere where it was, uh, grabbed a, a light and a fan, we're gonna install it, okay? I already took the cover off. Here's, uh, let me show you, so the cover looks like, and pulled the light out too. It's got a little, most of them have some kind of little notch. Can you see that? Yeah, you know, baby. Some kind of little notch on the side of them that fits into the notch up here. <clears throat> All right. Then take the bulb out, turn the power off. Um, at this point, you're really unlikely to have any trouble with power. Um, but once you really get to connecting the wires up, you want, you want the power off for this thing. There's, at least on this model, and a lot of them are very, are very similar, there's going to be a screw up underneath it lets you take this cover off and this inside out. And on this screw is a nut. Let's see. Ta -da. That little bad boy. Hold it with your hands. Once that comes off, it's coming down. Now it's plugged in. It's kind of interesting the way they do a lot of these. So this guy will drop down and off. That gets your nasty dirty fan cover off. Yuck. Okay, and then this guy, there's going to be a plug right up inside of here. It's kind of hard to see at that angle, but you'll see where it's plugged in and just unplug it or just pull the plug right out. I mean, this thing's so old. There you go. Now you can see the plug since it broke. Be careful you don't have any free wires there and then just unplug it. But if it's old enough and dried out enough, it just might crack when you pull it out. Yeah, there's a good crack in that one. So obviously this thing needed to go before the house caught fire. Now, the other real problem with these things is, yeah, you got to go in the attic, okay? And yeah, you're going to have to get yourself a mask. You go in the attic, you'll be coughing for weeks if you don't put a mask on. Because even though you're not, you know, playing with the uh, insulation too much, it's all in the air, you're going to inhale that stuff, just trust me, from the doctor, just put the mask on. But now you've got to go upstairs. I figure out how this one is plugged in, or not, not plugged in, I'm sorry, attached, because we've got to detach it uh, from the beam. It's going to be attached to one of the joists, overhead joists upstairs. Um, you're going to want to get that detached, and then you can lower it out, and then you can change the wiring, put the new one back up in, go upstairs and put it in. So it is a little involved here, and I'm going to go upstairs and show you what we're looking at from the top, and we'll get this thing unhooked and uh, out and switched. All right, so we got your usual attic here. All kinds of good stuff. A little storage space in. And the flashlight always helps a little bit. Oops, there it is. Put in some flooring a while back. Oh, like 10 years. Um, anyway, there's my cycling thing. If I want that, I might put that on eBay. I don't do indoor cycling much anymore. I'm a pain in the butt. But anyway, over here, that's why we try to get enough light back here so you can see what we're looking at. This is our box, okay? You can see I've already dug everything out here. Um, you can see the wire that goes into our box right there. Okay. That's going to be your power. And you see the joist where it's attached to one of the joists right there. Looks like they've nailed that in. There's probably an attachment very similar on the other side. Um, what I also noticed with this one, I can show you, maybe you can see up underneath. Let me get a better angle here. Here we go. So right about there should be a hose coming out, some kind of exhaust pipe of some sort. It's not so bad to exhaust your fans up into your attic. If you've got a big attic, I mean, we've got, I don't know if you can see, we've got lots of room. Well, you can see us just, sorry. We've got lots of room out that way. Um, so the attic's really big, so it doesn't really hurt to exhaust it in the attic, but it's not a good idea to exhaust that right on top of your, your ceiling. Um, that's right on top of your of your board right there, and mm, if you got too much uh, moisture coming out um, that didn't get absorbed by the uh, insulation that's all laying around there, you could damage um, that sheetrock that's making the ceiling, end up with a mess. So I didn't know this one was hooked up like this. I've never uncovered it until I had trouble with it. So I've I've bought a piece um, of four inch. Um, 
flexible hose we're going to put on the end of that and just kind of run it out, you know, up, whoops, up over into there somewhere. So it's okay to have it in the attic. It's not going to do any damage. Um, better run all the way out, but I just, I can't get this thing all the way out. That's too much trouble in a, in a house that's already set up and going. But that's what you're going to go after right there. You got the screws or nails when they put it together. Get those out and then you can drop your box down. I think it's easier to work uh, downstairs. Now when I was up here messing with the insulation, I had a mask on. Came up here right now just to show you guys once I'm back up here and doing more work and screwing it down, I'll have a mask on. Um, because this insulation, even though I'm not throwing it around now, it still is in the air. Um, and I'm not up here very long. So, But when I come back, I'll put my mask on for working up here and getting in that, that mess. Anyway, back in a bit. Okay, so here we are again. We've managed to get it out. You can see here's our piece. This is where there should have been an exhaust um, of some sort connected or a, a flexible tube in the exhaust connected and there was not. Um, our power connection is up here through the top. So we're going to go take this access out um, and we should be able to disconnect the power there. Get out the new one uh, get the power hooked up. Let me get our new one. I'll show you what we got. Here's our new one. Very similar to the old one. On the sides here, same kind of attachment to go on to the, the beam there upstairs. Of course, upstairs it'll be sitting like that. It's got the exhaust and I have a new extension for it. Okay, after looking at this a little further, um, this guy's just too much trouble to try to get out. Easier just to cut it. I've got plenty of enough power cord there to hook up to the new one. I just checked it. And there's another side. I'm still getting a cough. <clears throat> but let's see if you guys can see this. There you go. Mask is not just a little flip flimsy whatever mask. This is a pretty good. I forget the exact grade on this thing, but it's a really decent grade respirator for small particles. Uh, really helps for being upstairs. Okay, so we've got the power off and I've cut the end here. And then we'll, we'll strip these down um, and connect them up to our new exhaust fan and show you some of the wires and the connections here so you'll know what to do. You should have on the back of your fan, this one's got a pretty easy little access panel here. I took the little panel off and you got your wires here. You should have three wires, well four, you're going to have a ground wire too. And the little ground is the green, see the green that's on the back of there. There you go, right there. And then this guy fits right back into here and, and screws down. Um, so you're going to have a, a bare wire that, that goes into your, your ground. You're going to have a white wire. These two go together and then get hooked up. Let's get this. There you go. These two get twisted together and then you tie them with your, with your white wire. Um, and this will be one of the colored wires and this will be the other colored wire. All right, and that's the way and you should have two um, switches on the wall uh, that tie into this wire, the, the main group of wires coming up. And once you've got all those hooked together, you should have a switch that does the fan and a switch that does the light. So let me get those stripped and hooked up, <clears throat> and then we'll take a look at that. All right, and I forgot to mention here, you're going to want these little connectors, okay? Little electrical connectors here. So little doodads. That's what you're going to use um, for connecting your wires. Twist the wires together, put them in, screw this down on top of the wires. Pretty simple. I'll show you once you get your wires together and you've got two wires in here. You're going to twist them, you'll put your third wire onto there. And this just simply goes on top and you screw it right down until it's tight. Um, the way the design is on the inside with a small with screw inside of there, actually what would be the whole screw would go into, it'll stay. So that's what you're going to use to, to make these connections. And make sure there's no bare wire left once you make the connections. 
Um, you don't want to strip wire where you've got bare wire hanging out down to here. You twist it up here and you leave bare wire. That's not going to be good. You're going to short out your system. It'll cause all kinds of problems. Let me get that put together now. Okay, another tip here when you're putting this together. This is the hole that the wire is going to go through. See how that there's nothing on it? You need a grommet. I'm just going to take the one off the old one and put it through there to protect the wire from the metal. You don't put some kind of grommet on there, your wire is going to rub and over time you're going to short it out. Cause some kind of house fire. So you need something to protect the wire from the metal. All right. And you can get these just about at any electrical supply store if you don't have one. Okay, so here we are back upstairs. We got this installed. You can see where I've screwed it down there. I had to make a little adjustment. That's why the bottom's up a little bit. I had a top one in both sides. There's how we hooked up the wires. See the black colored and then white. And then the right there. The ground. It'll go on to the green. If we can get to focus. Sorry about that. It'll go on to the green screw right there and then you can see the grommet much better from here. Sorry, see the grommet? That's um, to protect the wire from the metal. And there's a screw that goes in the small hole right there if it'll come in focus and it might not. Anyway, there you go, to put the um, cover on. So I'm going to go ahead and put the cover back on and um, power it up, make sure it's working, then we'll put all the... Oh, I'm sorry, I also am going to... We're going to hook up our exhaust to right there. All right, and then we'll power it up and see if it's working. All right. Okay, so here's your attachment for your exhaust. You can see on one end here, it's uh, square. Okay. And that end fits into the, the fan. The other end is rounded here. Okay. There you go. And that's going to fit onto our exhaust tube. Be sure you pick up a ring, a, uh, an O-ring here, or maybe a locking ring, whatever you call this thing. Go around the outside, hold it on good and tight. It's going to be easier to put this on down here, and then just pop this in, pop this into the exhaust. I'm going to put this together, take it up, pop it into the exhaust, see if our fan works. Alright, and there's how it looks once you get it on, right there. And um, you can tell underneath, that right there is about the edge of the plastic, so this ring's about halfway between the lip over here and the edge of the plastic underneath. On oh, there, pretty tight. This should stay on. So get this installed upstairs. We got the power back on. We got the lights back on. And let's see. We have a fan. So we'll plug in the light and the cover. At this point, you can have the power back on because, like you notice, it's just a plug. There's a plug in there that the light goes into, and we're going to plug that in and hook it all up. All right, so we just screwed this bolt on, I mean this, this nut, cap nut right here, secured it up. You can tell, can't quite see the edge of it, but it's nice and tight against the ceiling. That's why I made that minor adjustment up there. I noticed it was just a little bit cattywampus on the, uh, on the rafter up there, or on the joist up there. Um, so now we'll give us a light bulb, see if the light works. All right, and there you have it. We're gonna put the cover back on. Get the light off. Get the cover back on. And there you have it, light and fan. Thanks for watching.